In this video, I'm going to analyze a science fiction short story, Amazon Odyssey, written by Stanley G. Weinbaum. This story is set in the early 21st century. It is about the first expedition of human on Mars. The whole story is told by Jarvis to his teammates after the fact during his conversation with his crew. Dick Jarvis a chemist of the crew flies to the south of the Mars 800 miles away from the main ship to photograph the landscape. Because of the malfunction of the engine on his rocket, he crashed lands into the fiery regions of Mars. Instead of waiting for rescue, he decided to walk back to the main ship. While he is walking back to find his teammates, he found a tentacle creature tries to eat an ostrich-like Martian alien. He saved the alien and tries to communicate with it. The name of the alien is True. The later part of the story is about the journey of True accompanies Jarvis to back to the north. In terms of human nature, I think Dick Jarvis follows the philosophy of Stoicism because he is logic and calm in times of trouble even his rocket is more function. He is calm and he has the courage to deal with all the difficulties he faced in the journey. Also, he is an extrovert and he believes that the Martian alien is friendly. In terms of relationships, this story is mainly focused on the relationship between Jarvis and the trio. I think Jarvis is in the age of soldier because he has goals to achieve and his goal is to explore the planet Mars. This story doesn't have any obvious religions. The crew of this expedition is a group of scientists. The type of this group is a short term group and they have simple group structure and ranks in the story. Harrison is the astronomer and captain of the expedition and the other three is of the same rank. I think the group of this expedition is in the stage of norming because the conflicts in this group is not much and they are helping each other. In terms of the genre of this story this story is a hard science fiction includes the feature of interstellar travel because it shows some of the science knowledge in the story such as gravity and it is a story of human exploration on Mars. It is also a story about the contact between the human and the alien. In terms of the plot, this story follows a three act plot. The first act is more function of Jarvis rocket and he crashed into the fiery region. The turning point is trail attacked by the Martian creature. The second act is Jarvis saves trail and the worsening situation is Jarvis trying to take the shining crystal which is belong to the cut creatures and they are attacked by the cut creatures. And the final resolution is Jarvis teammates comes and save him. Generally, the plot is attractive and interesting. The narrator of this story is Jarvis himself, which is a first-person narrator. It is suitable for this story because by using the first-person narrator, it can leave a deep impression in the reader's mind. In terms of the quality of language, dialogue, and the literary style, this story did use some technical terms to maintain readers interest and the dialogue in this story is quite a lot and it is effective to show the features of different characters such as Bruce, a German engineer. The writer can show his fake accent in the dialogue. Also the dialogue shows the difficulties of the aliens speaking the human language. This story also includes some so don't tell style in the story. In terms of the effectiveness of the character, 
I think the story can show the curiosity of tech drivers as a scientist towards the Mars and the Martian creature, and it describes a Martian alien as a man-like alien. It also showed that children are able to comprehend the human language. In terms of the setting of this story, it describes Mars as a planet that has biodiversity similar to the Earth. And there are different creatures on Mars, such as the tentacle Martian creature, the silicon-based creature, and the cut creatures. And it describes Mars as an environment that human can be trained to accommodate. Finally, in terms of the technology, this short story doesn't show any advanced technology in the 21st century. Drivers only use gun in the story and the story didn't describe much about the details of the guns.